Hey, pre-notification gang. <laughs> Coming along great, Ryonix. Shower was good. Refreshing. Oh, I gotta sneeze. There it is. You got stuck. Oh. Finishing the game from last night. Yep. Yep. That's the plan. Is there a sub legacy? There was not Ryonix. And Thiers didn't come send an email to the support because something must have went wrong with the tracking or like the address or something. Exit Prime, Flappo, and Steady, and the resub, Muissa. Oh, I forgot Better Call Saul comes back on Monday. That's hype. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, that's going to be good. Thanks the resub solo seeker. The game is Madison, not Madeline, and yeah, we're gonna finish that tonight in a minute. Is the resub? Your boy Blue, Tier 1 Devin, and the Prime Gavin. Yeah, I posted the moist meter on the boys season 3 earlier. Thanks, the resub Diamond. <coughs> and the Prime Retro. And the resub stick and Ripley. Surprised you didn't like the finale. The finale was fine, just underwhelming as well. Not that I didn't like it, it's just I was underwhelmed. Thanks to give sub Swavy and Pretty Eye and the resub Isaac. And the resub Mickey and the Prime Frank. And the gift sub Destra and the resub Hallowed. You see Elon Musk isn't buying Twitter and now Twitter is suing him into closing the deal. I didn't know Twitter was suing him, but yeah, I know Elon Musk backed out. Which, yeah, that sounds like a very Elon thing to do. Just blowing a bunch of smoke up ass for no fucking reason. Thanks to some Smog, Urban, St Stoian, and a Tier 1 Possum. <clears throat> and the Tier 1 Katakombi. And the Prime Fawn, and the Resub Drez.
Is that real, Kelgan? Uganda found a gold mine worth twelve trillion dollars. Thanks for your subteak. Is that real? Thanks for your sub, Sarah. That's real. Holy shit! Thanks for your sub, Stone, and the tier one shocky. How do you just find a gold mine? Well, there's no news about that. I got lied to. He's a tier one shocky in the prime Oscar and Jammer. I feel like if I just typed in Uganda news, it would be the top story, but here, sure. Okay, maybe not. Discovered 31 million tons of gold ore from energy and capital power. I imagine this is a reputable source. My god. Holy shit. Is your use of Evan Darian Sonic in the prime three I three in tier one flashton? Is there so brave? This is Fucking three weeks ago, is it? This was posted July 6th. But yeah, maybe you're right. Still cool. Thanks the resub Super Pro and the Prime Harry. And the Doja Cat drama. Yeah, it just seems like weak drama. Didn't he just? Didn't she just ask uh, Noah if the guy who plays Eddie is single or something? I think it's a prime vertical and the resub crazy. And the resub drippy. And the prime paradox. Yeah, that is true. Elon Musk canceled the buying of uh, Twitter. He's trying to back out. Fucking coward. Commit to it. Thanks for you said Bobby. I can't believe it. Another false promise. He's a tier one giraffe in the resub sensational. And the resub scar and scrimmy. The prime Arizak and the resub yell. And the resub cool cut. Hideo Kojima, his wasn't it just his pictures that got used in the articles about the assassination? No one's accusing Hideo Kojima of doing it. They just grabbed like random photos of Kojima. He's a prime Kodak. Thanks for the bits, Jacob. You see that Elon had twins with some random girl in his company? Nah, that's not surprising. That man is tweeting every day about how the world's gonna die due to underpopulation. Which is a wild take. He's probably fucking everything that moves, doing his best to be the hero that he believes he is. Is there some skull man? Yep, I saw that rust man. It's terrible. Thanks for your sub car Joe. And 
And they resub Adam. And they give sub Joseph. He's now paying child support on 10 kids. Does Elon have 10 kids now? Well, I guess with the, the announcement of the twins or whatever, that would make it 10. Because I'm pretty sure he had 8 before that. What a hero. Is there some Grim Hunter in the Tier 1 Rectum? And there is some Zycor and Gift Sub Senpai. Give sub nuts. Plans for tonight are finishing the horror game from last night. Is the resub majestic? But first, I'm catching up on the world events. Big day. Is the resub blue juice? And not AI. And people still defend him by saying he's at least paying child support. It's the bare minimum. He could at least be a father. I mean, he's literally looked at as a god, man. They're going to defend everything he does and says. Even his brain-dead takes on underpopulation. <laughs> like, this, you're not going to change that. Is the two gift subs Danny and the resub Aster and AI. Hey, Rise. Oh, that'd be huge, Rise, yeah. I mean, you're not far off. I won't spoil the ending. Rise is watching Moonfall tonight. He's a resub Imbergs. Elon Musk tried to suck both my nuts once, but I said no. God, he's a fiend, man. He won't stop. Is the resub drunk? Yeah, Aaron, I got Rise on that Moonfall train. Is the resub Johnny and Kinsada? <clears throat> no, I'm not playing Just Act Natural tonight. We're finishing the horror game here in a little bit. Watching the new Matrix right now, what a terrible movie. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. It's a waste of your time. Thanks to Resub Milf. And the bits majestic. You gonna play Sons of the Forest? I might, I don't know. It's not really a genre I typically enjoy, but we'll see. Thanks for you sub nuke. Do you finish Where's Oswald? Yep. Norm MacDonald was my favorite comedian. Yeah, of course I remember Norm. Ooh, that's an interesting question, Aaron. I doubt I doubt it. Because he also mentioned Kaspersky. Rise just sent me a message on Discord asking if it's sponsored by Kaspersky. So they're getting the same sponsors, I think. You see Kevin Hart is selling NFTs? I did. Let's go. He made a big post about it too. He was really excited. He did it on his birthday. What an awful way to celebrate. Where was the announcement? What is this? We are launching a private screening room in the metaverse to where in my NFT holders can hang out with me while watching exclusive content from my show. Jesus Christ. Oh, let's go. Look at these NFTs. Fucking huge. Got mine. Shout out to Kevin Hart for real. A true visionary. Those are pretty revolutionary. Oh my god, they move. Woo! Kind 
God damn it. Where's the announcement? The announcement was hype. Did he just retweet everyone that got an NFT? Christ, show me the announcement. I feel like it was like around this part. Maybe it's not here anymore. It kind of got ratioed. <clears throat> NFT presale ends at 6 p.m. Kevin, why come into Web3? Because I'm building. Cool response. Thanks the resub. Gory, Texas, Tylenol, bottle. The gift sub problematic. That'd be huge, bear. Bro, OnlyFans is wild. Amaranth posted her OnlyFans earnings on Twitter today. $33.7 million. That is absurd. That's so much. I always knew OnlyFans was huge, but that number is even beyond what I thought. Thanks, Risa. Dungus, Jackalope, and Gift Sub Halls in the Bits Nuke. In total or one year? I think it was yearly. Because it only had 21 and 22 on there. But maybe it was total. Maybe it was cumulative. I'm not sure. The 33 mil was just from me. <laughs> Bad baby made over 50. I know. Yeah, that one's well known though. And she was like a, a mainstream celebrity for a while. Super fucking creepy, by the way. The day she turned 18, everyone signed up to her OnlyFans. But regardless, it's still the 33 mil for Amaranth is so much. Who's the resub, Phil? And then Belle Delphine had hers in that music video, and she's made 30 mil. It seems like the big, like the big spot for money on OnlyFans is subscriptions, and then second place is uh, just straight up tips. Thanks for your Eric and Chroma. Why do people spend money on that shit? I think because it's more personal. I don't know. You can send message to the OnlyFans creators for money. So I think Amaranth made, Amaranth made like 6 mil off people sending her messages. So people feel like much more attached. Thanks, Risa Wolfie. The bit's weird cat. Oh, they don't have any bad albums, DJ. You'll like them all, I imagine. Thanks, the Prime Mythical and the Risa Omega. You thinking of starting an OnlyFans? No. I I would be very curious as to the number one male earner on OnlyFans. I imagine I don't know who it is, but I imagine like the number one guy on OnlyFans has not even made a million dollars. It's probably not even fucking close. Like he's probably getting like a hundred bucks a month. Thanks to the five gift subs, Ang. Appreciate it. And the Prime Spood and the Resub Chronic. I know it sounds like a joke, but it's Onision. If it's Onision, then I'm absolutely right. Onision does not make much off his OnlyFans. I subscribed to it once for the sake of a video. He does not make much off it. Thanks to Prime Murky. Oh, Tyga has an OnlyFans, doesn't he? I imagine he would probably be their biggest earner. Because he's, he, well, he's really not huge anymore. But he was big for a long time.
Taiga is number four earner on the website, like in total. Thanks for the gift sub, Wyatt, the tier one hash brown. Taiga makes 7.6 mil a month. Based on what? Did he show it? I only trust it if it comes from the actual creator. Thanks for the resub. Sea Cow. Sea Cowski. And Full Beast. DJ Khaled and Fat Joe also have an OnlyFans. I remember uh, DJ Khaled did. Didn't know Fat Joe did. Thanks for 10 gift subs, Lexa. Appreciate the generosity. And the resub, Mikey. Didn't you make an OnlyFans that no one subbed to? Yeah, I tried to start a Ground Zero Foot Fetish OnlyFans and it didn't work. Thanks, Risa Bluxa. And the Prime Oni. And the Prime Kim Jeb. And the Resub Steel. Also, I have to take into account different people charge different rates for subscription. That's true. Nikocado is number 13 on highest earners. Wait, let me see what list you guys are using because I just don't believe that. Are you using one of these like uh, third party websites like Stata, Stata, Statista? Earthweb? Let's see which one you're using. Yeah, see, this is just already wrong. There's nothing bad on the site, so I can pull it up. This graph is already super wrong. Top OnlyFans earners chart 2022. This is wrong. Amaranth and Belle Delphine aren't on here, and they both showed figures higher than this already. And Bad Baby had 50 mil. So this isn't accurate, even slightly. Thanks the resub, Quay. This is by monthly. Even by monthly, they were higher. Amaranth in particular was at like 1.8, I think, per month. Belle Delphine also around 1.8. And then Bad Baby was significantly higher. So it's just not right. There's the Prime Web. Did you do research into Feet Finder? Sounds awful. I moist metered Thor yesterday. Nerissa Zaloko. Those only count subs per month, which is a fraction of their earnings. Well, and also. The subs are going to be different for each creator. Some of them just have free subs. Like, you can actually just sign up for free. But then you have to pay for the content, like, individually. So these numbers are meaningless. Like, actually worthless. Is it Prime? Patron? And there you said Bushido. And Yeet. No, I'm not going to moist meter Rise of Gru. I'm not seeing it. I don't care about Rise of Gru. Couldn't tell you. I don't know anything about Canada, honestly, mint price. Do you guys not have good internet? Thanks for your lasagna. Okay. Let's 
Let's finish this game. Let's give some Mikey. And the resub Ajax. Is the game any good? It's fine. It's a pretty high effort horror game. Puzzles are interesting. Story is interesting. Certainly not bad. Exit tier one Crimson, tier one Ashley, and the resub Royal. And the five gift subs Dong. Thank you, Dong. And the resub Dresco. Sub Retro and Jerry. Okay, so we escaped from 1987. And I don't remember where I'm supposed to go now. Somewhere down here. Oh, wait. This put me a little further back. Phone's about to ring. There it is. Fucking prophet. Genius. Like the oracle. John. Fine, I'll turn the John. lights off, Christ. This is the fourth time I've tried to call you. Priest Thomas speaking. I was able to finally get the information you asked for, and the truth is... The truth is... This is reason, I'm worried Jerry, about your family. Generally speaking, demons try to complete simple rituals to break the bondage of their souls. To carry out this ritual, you must rid yourself of an object with important sentimental value to you. Offer it as a sacrifice. There were practitioners of witchcraft who became haunted as a result of their thievery and dishonesty. They used to steal jewelry from ancient dynasties as to avoid performing the sacrifice directly for themselves. So that's what that locket was in there. Objects. They bought the sacrifice with the emotions of others. This perverse being is trying to go beyond even that. We are speaking of an ancient ritual of which very little is known. Seven sacrifices, seven mutilations. I believe we are facing a, a, a body exchange type of ritual. Madison Hale was trying to complete such a ritual before she was murdered, and now she is forcing your child to finish it for her. She is trying to steal your son's body. body Call me as soon as you get this message. Is that what she's after? That's great to hear, Sinan. Good. So that is this thing. I'm guessing. What do I have in my inventory? Madison skull. Do I put the skull on the statue maybe? Also, the game is really loud again. Hold on. Okay. These are some balloons. I still don't have the combination to this. Still have never found it.
it go that way. Ooh, whoa! Holy shit! Thank you for the anonymous 50 gift subs. Jesus Christ, thank you. I'm out of fucking nowhere. And thanks to tier one calling. Appreciate the generosity, man. Thanks to you some pyronomic. God damn, what a fucking fat drop. over here. Still don't know the combination of these two either. Thanks to Resub Carland. Thank you, Anon. Thanks to Resub Panic. That piano is blocking the front door. Worth a try. Basement. I still don't have anything to unlock that either. Let's go to the basement. I already forgot what was through this red door down here. Thanks, you said pirate. I already finished Visage. The game's fine. It's not a bad game at all. I enjoyed it. Oh, right, this is where the well was. The skull's not gonna go to that, I doubt, but I'm already this far, so. Alright, great, good waste of my time. There's the Prime Maniac. of eye patch mm. maybe I missed something in grandma and grandpa's room grandma's diary Uh, so that's why she has no eyes in the photos. Okay. There's a prime Sakito. Um, what what am I missing? I really don't remember what it, what I was supposed to do after the phone call. Gotta be something in the kitchen. Maybe I like whip up spaghetti and meatballs or something and serve it to grandma. I just genuinely don't remember what I'm supposed to do with Madison's skull. Maybe I go all the way back, like maybe I leave grandpa's house. Like I go all the way back to where dad's still whining. Or 
or maybe something over here actually. Nope. Nothing here. Don't have the combo. Okay, let's try going way back. I oh. won't be able to go back. I, f I forgot that I fell. with any of that. What's this? Oh, Science and Space Magazine. I remember I saw that last time. Huge, huge. Wait, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? It was so nice having both houses connected. We were able to have breakfast with Grandpa every morning. How cute. Super happy for you guys. Huge. Let's go. Progress. Things a bit stress in the resub mic. I I don't know. I don't know any wisdom there. Stress. Okay, so not that one. Which means it must be one of these in the hallway. Not that one. Okay, not that one. Uh, how were were there any other locked doors? I I don't think there was. <sighs> These are some Dal stars. Oh, the main entrance door. But that had two locks on it. This is only one key. Would. Would both locks use the same key, you think? Oh, actually, maybe it's this. Maybe it goes to this. Oh, wait, no, this is blocked by a chain. need one more of those. Cool. That one took me like 45 minutes to find, so I'm on pace to get the next one within the hour. In fact, I bet it's behind this thing, but I still don't have the combination to this. force it. Yeah, I mean, there's only a thousand possible combinations. Let's go throw some in. I don't remember all the ones we tried yesterday, so I'll probably end up repeating, but that'll be alright. One guy in the chat said to try this. That was wrong. Alright, back to brute force. Let's try that. Oh, what about 1987? Did, did I try that last time? What about 1951? Okay, worth a try. Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna be able to brute force that. Yeah, we already tried all those combinations for that thing that's scribbled on the side of it. It's not the combination. We tried every variation of it yesterday. Oops. How about 1964? That's the year Keanu was born? Sure, we'll try it. That's cute. Damn, I can't believe that didn't work. Alright, one guy really wants me to try this. Let's see it. You take a picture of it? No, I tried that yesterday. I'll do it again just for the sake of it, but it didn't work last time. Maybe something with this chair, though. This chair is placed in an interesting position. Yeah, we tried 8971 and all of that shit yesterday. It's not right. We tried it backwards, upside down, all of it. This combo is just somewhere in the house. I don't know where. Oh, thank you for the raid, Liana. That was a fat one. Appreciate that. Hope you had a great stream. Hope you're ready for a real fucking scary spooky one. I already tried that 2458. Here, I'll do 2485 then. I, ju we j I just don't think we've come across any combination for this one yet, but here, fuck it, fine. Please the reset bun and be gone on the clocks. I don't think so either. We tried clock combos as well. We tried this yesterday, didn't we? The 4308. I mean, it's too long, but whatever. I'll just try the first part anyway. I don't remember if I did this or not. Just a whole bunch of random numbers, sure, sure, sure. It is not on the lock, we've tried every combination that this could possibly be on the lock. Every single one of them. Literally every single one of them. One, two, five, eight again? Okay. Didn't I just do this one a minute ago? Wrong. It's not on the lock. Here is one, two, five, eight. Where the fuck would this be though? I've checked this entire house ten times over and have still not found the combo to this thing. Grandpa was just like dad. No way. Oh wait, I remember trying that yesterday. But whatever, I'll do it again today. Let's make magic happen. Yeah, still wrong. We also, you guys are going, like, I feel like we went back in time. We tried it upside down, right side up, all fucking which way. These scribbles on the side of the lock are not correct. 
this 1258, we tried everything. We tried it the other way, so we did 8571. We tried all of it, and it didn't work. I don't know what this is for, but it's not this fucking lock. Backside? I don't even remember looking at the backside, but there's nothing here. Oh my god, there's something on the back. 2123. That's actually new. 2123. Let's try it. Damn. Nope. Twelve fifty-eight is a clock number, not a code. That's what I would have thought too, but there's also no clock that's at twelve fifty-eight in this entire fucking house. At least not that I remember. This one's not even close. Where are the other clock oh, the other clocks are over here? Are they combos to the vault? No, it needs to be three numbers for the vault. So frustrating. Yeah, we're gonna try. Two one five three is nine five three in regular time. What? I'll just keep tossing out random fucking numbers here. Why not? Sure. Two one five three, huh? Dead by Daylight is fun, I just don't play it much anymore. Thanks to the resub slap. Jeepers, Brie, Risen, and Thick Milk. 2832 based solely on my brain. Okay, 2832. No such luck. Oh, now you're cheating looking through a VOD. Oh, that's no fun. Alright, 4365, whatever. Where, where was the combo, though? Oh my god, and it's still wrong. Is it randomized? Oh, it's impossible to brute force because the code is generated after a certain part of the story. And we still aren't at the right spot because this is so early. And I feel like that's where the last key to that door is. Okay, maybe I'm just out of order. There's a photo with a year on the back of it. What? What are you talking about? I looked on the back of it already. It was 2123. How was that a year? The year 2123? Did we go to the future next? Oh, why the fuck am I supposed to go? Where do I go with this skull? Let me retrace my footsteps from last night. I escaped Hans Gruber or whatever. I left 1951. I left 1987 after opening Madison's coffin. I grabbed her skull. And then I had to boot scoot and boogie out of there to make it back to current day. This still hasn't come in handy yet either. Combination blank right five left. So we still can't open the safe with that info yet. Blue knees? What? What kind of baloney is that?
Okay, let's see if I missed something up here. I don't think I did, but we'll check anyway. All of these pictures are right. Still can't open that. Let's try and go back through here, maybe. Well, that didn't work. Thanks for the five gift subs, Shira. Appreciate it, Shira. Man, where in the fuck am I supposed to go next with this skull? I feel like I have to leave Grandpa's house. The phone rang to get me towards the kitchen. So I went towards the kitchen. There must be something else there. There's a prime Yannico and alleged. There had to be a reason I got a phone call now. More so than just giving me lore. It, they wanted me here. But why? What good am I to them here in the kitchen? When it's so dirty I can't cook. What do they want from me? Still can't open that either. Finish blue knees, then the photo will reveal, will reveal the way. What? I don't know what the fuck blue knees is! Jesus Christ! <laughs> like, I'm super out of order right now. Because this bathroom door I opened so long ago and just never bothered to look at this picture. Or the mirror. So whatever this blue waffle shit is, I don't know if it necessarily has bearing on what I'm doing currently with Madison's skull. Maybe, what if I turn this off? Uh, is there maybe something over here? I can't go back to the well, so no reason to go there. Still can't open that. No, like I can't open the door to the well. Thanks for the resub, Yoda. Oh, thanks for the bits external. I hope you're kidding about that, man. Keep your birthday money. But happy birthday. I still can't do that. Luckily I wasted my time coming back for the second time. That prank never gets old. Jesus Christ! <clears throat> Take pictures of everything? What haven't I taken a picture of yet? I've taken a picture of every goddamn thing in this house at this point, I think. I guess except for the bathroom mirror, since I didn't bother with that last time. Let's try. Maybe that'll show me blue knees. Nope. Fucking nothing. I already took a picture of the red door down there. Okay, maybe if I find the combination to the safe instead, we can get moving. Hold on, quick text message. Okay. Oh, thanks for the big tier three. Dorian. I've already used this pentagram before, but let's look at it again. Maybe this will somehow be useful to me. No. 
was only for the well, I think. Can you get a nude? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm not far enough. Grandma is, like, haunting this house, and every time she shows up, she's got some big fucking honkers on her, so I guess kinda. I already, I already rotated the skull. There's nothing on it. Just a normal skull. I can open one of the saves. Saves. I, I actually think that we'll start to be able to make some progress. But I don't know where the. Oh, I haven't looked at this. Grandpa never got over her death. 1968 again. I already tried that combo. Two safes in here. Red and green. I don't know the combo to either. This one says if you need the note if you need the combination, you know where to find it with a hand to the ten o'clock. But that doesn't help. There is no clock that's set to ten. And the bathroom note is blank, 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 right, five, left. So I can't use that either. Thanks the resub, little two. Hmm. I don't think I missed anything in here. Set the clock to 10. I can't set any of the clocks. I don't have the ability to do that yet. I don't have the piece. So if I try and move a clock, I get this. And there's nothing I can fit in there right now. You could try 10 right, 5 left. I'm pretty sure we tried that last night, but fuck it, why not? I'm almost certain we did, because it needs to be three numbers, but whatever. I'm already here anyway. And then we need one more. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, there's no fun in looking it up. Like, if you just look up the combo, that's not fun. I'm trying to do it legitimately. And I actually have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to get that combo. You have 2, 5, and 10. Where are you getting the 2 from? What are you talking about? I don't see where that comes from. Where's the 2? In the pentagram. That was to the well, but whatever. I don't think the well one's gonna matter. There's two. Ten, and then five. Nope. The two in the pentagram was for the well. I'm, I don't think that plays here. I'll try it uh, th the other way though. Let's do, uh, what was it? 10, right? Okay, and then we'll do five left. And then two. Still no. Thanks for Prime, TJ. Like, I don't think that two works. Is there more than three clocks? There's four, I think. None of them are set anywhere near ten.
He's a prime J when he. These are still locked. So this one isn't to 10 or anything in particular. It's constantly changing. And then the other clock. I don't remember what that one is, but it's not 10. And there was one more somewhere I forgot. The crack in the wall is something I've already explored. Here. I'll just go back to it. Crack in the wall leads to this room. And then in the attic, the crack in the wall leads to the uh, other room that we blew wide open. I have no fucking idea where this combo is going to be. This is for storage. There's a tier one cut. And then this one is, what was it? Yeah, not even close to 10. Just wandering around aimlessly, dick in hand here. I cannot find these safe combos anywhere. I, I just feel like there's nothing I haven't looked at. <laughs> Things resubmittal. I don't know what the fuck the point of having the clock hand on 10 is. Because it doesn't give me any clues. And then the bathroom has blank right, 5 left. Which would be helpful if I could find the other two. Let me go back to the grandma and grandpa's room. Can't interact with that anymore. Can't open this. There's just nothing I can do. What? I think there's something else under that plank. They put two interactables on top of each other? Oh, that's so fucked. Because I still can't open this here or in the attic. That's, that's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. Can't use the hammer, I already tried. You just saw me try the hammer. Are you just making shit up, Trippy? Why are you so hung up on these blue knees? God damn it. probably unlocks the well door. Though I don't know why the fuck I'd need to go back to the well. Thanks to the Prime. Spartan, the reset of Rain and Kevoy. The reset of Robotic. Alright, back to the well again, I guess. Ah. So it's not a well, it's a closet. Got it. <clears throat> Come on, I'm trying to get this collectible here. What the hell is this place? Oh, it's, oh, it's becoming the well again. Man, I can't see a thing. Where are these pointing? Oh. oh, Grandma's gonna be in here and she's gonna be so pissed. He's... What? 
He... Okay. I see. I'm coming! Oh, now I can't see anything. Where is this crowbar? crowbar man I can't find it what is the point in me being able to hit this light I hear grandma whining again oh here we go alright now I'm ready for a fight Things are so blue and oro, and the bit's toasty. You again! Where is the one with blue knees? The one who knocks? Hey, hey. Grandmother? A grandmammy? Oh, Mima. Oh, wait. I have to take a picture, I bet. <gasps> She's inside the statue! Ugh. Go back to hell! Oh my god, she's getting quicker. These are some meanie. Tiana? Tiana? No, hold on. I hear the cat. Give me just one second. Be right back. Yeah, is everything alright with the cat? I'm back. Oh. Thanks to the gift sub Shedder, Toad, Ghost, and the resub Fluff here in Tier 1 Oist. And the resub General. She's fine. Yeah. the scrapbook. Okay, so all that for a crowbar. Nice. That woman. She doesn't show the photos. Somehow. Please do reset the promise. Oh, she's gonna be up here. Can I picture? Oh, no, I can't. Hey, Tetra. Oh, she's gonna be poking her little playful head around the corner. Ooh! I was wrong. Unlucky. 0 for 1. Okay, let's open this one first up here. Really crank on it. There we go. If you find this, do 
do not listen. Why even bother writing that? In the history of, like, the human race, when you say don't do something, the first thing people are gonna do is do it. Such a worthless thing. Here I come. Play it. Things are reset. Mill go. I cannot trust anyone. Not even Albert. If you are listening to this, Blue Knees is real. Oh, that's what the bathroom mirror said, actually. Who is he? What's his gamer tag? I know I don't have much time left. The fucking thing. I, I can feel it breathing right behind me. Singing that fucking song. Over and over and over and over. And over in my head. Why is this so unbelievable? We'll believe in demons and all this other shit, but Blue Knees is going too far. Behind and we'll find what he has been looking for. Oh, the kitchen where he's written this song. Oh, it's in the kitchen? Just for you. Oh my god, well, who's to not look at the lyrics? You sure? I'm right next to the kitchen. Where are the lyrics at? Where's that genius uh, lyric digestion video? Oh, it's probably in here. That would be my guess. Yeah, let's see what's under the floorboard in here. Maybe all blue knees is real short and he's hiding under this plank. Is this the ring she mentioned in her diary? Must be. Don't exactly know how that helps me right now though. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> My my eyes. No. My eyes burn. I, I, I need to get out of this fucking house. What am I? What is that? Are those lips? With forceps? What am I looking at here? Oh, it's a chair. Oh, I see it now. Oh. Oh, I was looking in I was looking in like all the negative space. It looked like someone's lips being propped open by like forceps and a hairbrush. Oh, I see it now. Okay, it's yeah, that's a chair. Oh yeah, it's a chair all day. All right, blue knees, where you at? Oh, so let me see that ring. There's probably some kind of clue on it. No, maybe not. Okay. We're getting somewhere though. That's progress. Can I open this with a crowbar, you think? Man, who's shutting doors on me for no reason? This is outright disrespectful. Is there anything else I needed the crowbar for? Oh, I missed a red photo in the kitchen. There, I'll go 
put back for it then. The red photos are just collectibles. They're not actually like a part of the game. Like, story or anything, it's just collectibles. Mr. Red photo in here? It was behind. Oh, up here. See, these things are just red. They're just collectibles. There is no, like, red photo inventory. Like, it's just this. And they all have the same numbers on them, I think. Wow, this actually kept track of every single photo I've taken so far. Wait, that's kind of cool. I thought there'd be, like, a, a limit to it. progress and still not any closer to opening those safes. Thanks for the Brian. <sighs> Wasn't there another plank? No, I only remember two. I'll go check. Here, we'll go back and look. But I'm pretty sure it was just those two. come from what is it nice things changed here cool that's helpful let's go I'm carrying too much already I cannot believe there's actually carrying capacity in this game hurts my feelings uh, give me one second guys hold on I'm over encumbered Sub salty. Okay, that goes to main door over there. A body exchange ritual? Yeah, you already knew that. We listened to the phone call. I need to put an end to this. Okay, we saw that. That seems pretty easy to follow. Alright, let's go! Incoming jump scare, I bet. Behind this door lies Grandma, and she's gonna get real loud. That was wrong. Oh, power drill? This is from Grandma's diary. cutters that's actually massive for us oh 
And a cool circular saw. Cut something. Oh, god damn it. You know what I'm supposed to use here? Is that little tuna can. Man. Hold on. I wish Grandma would stop coming around and closing these doors for no reason. Hey, I said stop it. It's my house, too. Tuna can out. Um, I don't think I need the skull right now. So, which one couldn't I open? I think it was this one, right? The moon box. Let me double check. Yeah, that's the one I can't open. I missed another red pick. Did I? I'll find it eventually. Oh yeah, that's looking good. What do we got inside of that? These must be Madison's victims. How can you tell? It's just ash. I guess like there's kind of body parts underneath it. I didn't do much to help me, all things considered. It's just a picture of her victims. Is there something here? Maybe the victim's body parts spell out the combination to one of the safes? new in here. It doesn't look like it. Well, that worked. Oh, and then I placed the other thing there too, I bet. Yeah, because it's only going to let me place the correct ones. So let me get the sun box. That's big. Oh, can I take the hammer too? I'm carrying too much on. Stupid idea. I don't know what I was thinking. This game's so realistic. I can only fit whatever's gonna be able to make it into my pocket here. Here we go. Nice. I need two more of those at least. No, wedding ring won't work. I don't think. I'll try it, but I don't think it will. I think it has to be those, but let's give it a whirl. Right here. Oh, nope. Yep, that works. We're really fucking cruising. All right, let's have some fun. Let the ritual commence. Oh, numbers. Things 
Misery Sub Batman and Kudo and Leo, Bear and Prime Conquer and Candy. And the gift sub hand. I wonder if now this will work. Four digits to open this door. They must be somewhere. Let's see if it works now. Since it was clearly story locked. No, and then what was the one on the back? Two eight zero one. How that is? Two one two three. What is this one? Let's try the two one two three first. Okay, uh, maybe now it'll work. So this is 1968. Let's try that. Oh, I, no, that's not going to work. It's going to be some numbers on the wall. Otherwise, the numbers wouldn't have just randomly appeared. Or maybe not. This does seem just like random scribblings. Try 1968. I don't think it'll work, but whatever. doesn't show anything special there. Thanks for the bit stress in the tier one Guma and the Risa Bandistus and Han. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was super fun, Han. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, nice stress. Knowing you'll be playing through the God of War games? Yeah, next week sometime. Yeah, let's find this combo. Um... Maybe something to do with these, no. Maybe something in the book. Can't use the bolt cutters on it. It's not that realistic. It only lets me interact like this. It's gotta be something with the numbers on the wall, otherwise there'd be no reason for them to appear. Can you stop fucking knocking? I'm trying. Alright, I'm really trying to figure this out. Yeah, I know where to use the bolt cutters, and I also use them in the kitchen, but I think I need to do this first. Whatever, I'll just go out of order. Now that people stop telling me. Oh! Free cassette! Let's go! More lore? Hey, hey, hey! I'm here for a story. John, I must stress to you how dangerous these demons really are. I've witnessed a few exorcisms in my time. Not everyone lived to tell the tale. These beings are not alive, and that makes them stronger than us. They entertain themselves with us. They enjoy our fear, causing us pain. They feed off of it. It gives them power, it gives them strength. When one of them becomes attached to one of us, it's all but impossible to stop. They play with our bodies and minds until they find what they were looking for. Is attached to they're the no longer human. 
I don't know if she is though, she's not getting it back. Everything we know. John, I implore she's you. She's no longer human. Seek help. I'll investigate that <laughs> woman you told me about. Um, Madison Hale. And I'll get back to you as soon as I find something. Keep all of this information away from your son. Get rid of that camera as soon as you get this message, but please, please do be careful. If your child has already had contact with this entity, his life, yours, and your family's are Mom. in jeopardy. No, oh, no. No. What if I died? Oh boy, you just had to get into photography. I need to find a way to end this. Yeah. Fuck. Oh no. Jeepers. It burns. Uh, Nothing but whining, huh, Lucas? My body burns. Uh, horn horns? What? Uh, I have horns now? I think I've seen something like this in the house. I certainly haven't. Huge, big collectible, what a waste. Awesome. All right, what do we got in the shitter, huh? Okay, I have to hit this side individually, got it. Time to use the commode, I believe they called it back in the old days. I'm so tired of her doing that. Such a lame prank. Uh oh! 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 How many times do I have to tell you there's nobody in this house? I'm stuck! I'm done with your bullshit! Albert, listen to me! It's just a book! A fucking book, Elizabeth! See? There's no one here! It doesn't exist! It's not real, goddammit! I know! Yeah, maybe if I make enough noise, they'll hear me. Maybe has something to do with it. I'm in here! The house isn't empty. You are sick for the Lord's sake. I'm not sick. You'll end up losing your mind if you don't cut the crap. That book has nothing to do with your illness. I wish you'd stop acting like a child. Stop hiding our stuff and take your goddamn pill. Jesus. Do you, do you think it's normal? Do you think pupils vanish like dust? I'm telling you that that. Enough, me. Elizabeth! Stop acting like a ten-year-old and go to bed! Albert! Wow, Albert. Everything started the day we brought that fucking book to this house! It's a disease, Elizabeth. You don't sick. believe me? Thanks to Prime J. Slay, Juice, I and the resub, Duck, and Super, and Anako, and Sauce. I'm done. And I'm taking Johnny with me. We are not staying hey, hey, here! Hey, wait a minute. This is... <sighs> You're paranoid. Four a.m. Elizabeth, just go back to bed before we wake up Johnny. Come on, we can talk about this. You're gonna regret this. You'll end up all alone. Just you and your stupid fucking clock. Okay, well we didn't need to go that far. Okay, Elizabeth, I understand tensions are high and whatever, but there's no reason to insult the clocks. Yes, what? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, picture. I was up. Photo up. Cheese. Don't worry, I'll open this side. All right. That was a lot of lore. I didn't actually get anything super useful. So where is the combo here? Oh, I missed one of the red picks. Oh, that's okay. I don't really care about the red picks. Mm. 
Make the resub har har. Like there's just so many possible combinations here. On the wall. And I feel like it has to be like in the wall somehow. Otherwise, why would they just put numbers on the wall? I've done 1758 a million times. I'll do it again, but I don't think that's it. <clears throat> Wasn't it? Okay. Maybe I still can't do this one yet. Thanks for the gift sub eyes and the resub Seth. Hello, horns. Nice. Four. Okay, we're getting we're getting somewhere. That's progress. Four. Perfect. I'll take that. No. Oh, stop. Stop whining. No. N not again. No. Fuck. I, I can't feel my fingers. What is happening to my body? Okay. Four. Uh, I, I don't know what this could mean. Not a light bulb. There was a red light, but everything was dark. I don't even remember a red light. Is it the one in the hallway over here? The only like red light I remember is back in 1987 and then this hallway down here. Let's see. No, that's definitely not it, but whatever. Could that little bad guy be? Hmm? That little naughty boy. Where's that red light? Is your Sebeki? There you some Thomas. I don't think it was in the attic, so I'm not even gonna bother. I really thought that might work if I tried to cut that open. Is it in the basement? Must have been. That's the only place I haven't looked. Must have been in the basement. The hanging bulb? The hanging bulb wasn't red though. Though I guess neither was the uh, the horns. Well, thanks for the five gift subs, Papa. Appreciate it. Tier 1J and the Resub Spartan. I didn't see it, Salt, but if you did, thank you.
Is it prime life? Ah, uh, okay. That's how we do it. Alright, and then... Where where would the red light be? Because that's not on, so it's not that. The, the doorbell. I, I gotta get to the front door. I'm coming, hold on. Hello, I can't see a fucking thing. Uh, just one second, I'm feeling my way around the house. Uh, hold your horses, buddy, I'm coming. Hey. This is Lucas' residence. <laughs> She's playing with my mind. There is no fucking escape. I just saw one of the red photos go by. Hey, hey. Madison stabbed her at her own front door. Neighbors witnessed her dragging the body into the house and there was some stank and bread. I guess I'm happy. You. 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 There are no numbers on this one. This must not be the right floor. Oh, actually, maybe. Floors I can visit here. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is gonna be another really long puzzle. Thirty-two George Brown. Did that work? I guess. I see. I see. I think. It said nineteen seventy-five. Oh, did it? Definitely not the code to the safes or anything.
Maybe I can break the wall with something. Oh, my hammer. Oh, my hammer. Of course, now I need my hammer for the first time in forever. Alfred 1909 to 1998. Oh, this is what's moving. I didn't even notice. Oh, fuck me. Oh, these puzzles are so deep. Let me go get the hammer. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. Disposing of it. Was her own 75-year-old father. Suggesting the latter, police officers found the police at the scene. Do you say macabre? You must not have ever seen that word before. It's macabre. That fool! I just need to find that red light. Okay, got it. I did not see a red light on my way over. This whole area is not even red. It's not gonna be here. Do I still have that tape in my inventory? I do. Let me go put that back while I'm still close by. No, I don't think it's in the basement. There was actually no light there. Outside of that first journey we went on through there. I'll go though since people, first. Since people really wanted me to go to the basement again. But I don't think that's where that red light is. Thanks, Resub Ender. I imagine I'm gonna have to do the uh, elevator stuff first before the red light, but whatever. We'll try it. This is not the wrong way to the basement. What are you talking about? Dude, it's right here. Well, you can't really see it, but here. There's no light there at all. And I think there would be. There's a prime crack. Oh. I think it's gonna be this light. That's the only, like, actual light that isn't one of these emergency ones. So I'm gonna have to do the elevator shit first, I think. Suggesting the ladder, police officers found 
books at the scene, containing strange symbols, candles, dead animals, and one of the more macabre details, along with the other corpses. So far, his left leg and three fingers have not been found. The first victim was her own 75-year-old father. Madison mutilated his body in such a way that his face was unrecognizable. His body was found in pieces inside the well along with the other corpses. So far, Robert Hale, there he is. That's the first victim. So do I match this number up with the victim? I imagine that's probably how it goes. So that's good. His body was found in pieces inside the well along with the other corpses. So far, his left leg and three fingers have correct. not been found. Madison continued to mutilate her body before disposing of it. The second victim was her 71-year-old mother. Man, I can't see shit. According to police reports, Madison amputated both of her legs. Oh, that's the one. Easy. Continued to mutilate her body before disposing of it. The second victim was her 71 year old mother. According to police report, repeatedly, the young man died instantly. His body was discovered as well. The third victim was a 27 year old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was discovered as well. I'm assuming this is him. Drake Fletcher, 27. Number three. I keep missing that red photo, but it doesn't matter. I don't really care. Exit Prime Neo. I am her next one. <laughs> Zoinks. So, oh, you, the mirror. You, you, you. There we go. Let's go, big key. Faulty equipment. Oh. Yeah, I get it. I'm not afraid of some old geriatric grandma. That's fine. Still just screaming you, huh? Wrong door. Still not the right door. What? I don't remember any of the- oh, this door's locked. I was gonna say, I don't remember any other locked doors, but it's this I one. I should turn the power back on first. Yeah. Alright, let's see what's in here. This door has been real mysterious. Yeah! Oh my god, it's the circus room. Oh god. 
Again, huh? My body. Uh, my hands. This is what the priest was talking about. <laughs> that thing is... <laughs> that thing is feeding off of me. Thanks to the resub. Me effect. Christoph, Klepto, and the Prime. Didn't laugh. <laughs> what the fuck does this even mean? Oh, it's the sound of clock that makes you idiot. The house is full of clocks. Yeah, man. Obviously. <laughs> Combination. Oh, my God, finally. Three left, twelve right, five left. I gu I'm guessing. I'm assuming this twelve is for the bathroom one. Three left, twelve right, five left. Fucking finally. Holy shit. Grandpa used to work in here. Still can't do anything with these clocks. But I got the combo, so I'm out ski. Bye bye, nerds. Which one does this go to, though? Red or green, I wonder. We'll just try green first. Then we'll try red. <laughs> Granny's still here. She doesn't want me finding what's in the safe. But that's too damn bad. I'm coming for the goodies. Right, three left. Twelve right. And then five left. Let's fucking go. Huge! this Mr. Blue Knees. Oh, finally! A clock. I can actually use that. Things a bit rage in the tier one marsh. Oh, hopefully that's the right clock. Oh, this is gonna be... Okay. This is gonna be a lot. Okay, so this clock... Okay, so it's 1.30. time is it supposed to be? So this one's 1.30, the one down below is coming up on 6.40. Uh, how am I supposed to know? Let me grab this one. back an hour for daylight savings so there's three clocks here there's that one the one up here on the door and the one in the hallway I don't know which time is supposed to be what though oh no there's like 15 clocks downstairs too Fuck. this one is is this the 
Fuck, I can't even tell which one's the little hand here. Okay, it's this one. This one's 9.30. I'm just grabbing shit randomly. We'll see if we'll see if this somehow works. Another one. Okay, this one's 11. Like on the dot, this one's pretty helpful, I bet. She is really all over this house right now. She does not like me going after the clocks. And this one was... I don't remember. Okay. So 11 o'clock. That one's absolutely going to be in play. 11 o'clock is like a standard time. He's the prime comrade. How am I supposed to know what time things are at? Like where they should be? Let me see some Spitfire. Let me some Penguin. <clears throat> well, yeah, one of the notes said 10. But I didn't see any clocks with 10. <sighs> Check out the sketch that started the clock thing. Let's see. I don't- I think there was only- I think there was only one time on it. I don't remember drawing any of these. Okay, Am so I five? Going insane? For the grandfather clock? Thanks for your sub lizard. Which one do I have in my inventory right now? Who's the five goosebumps god gamer? Okay. So I've got the 420. How am I supposed to know what clock goes where? Fuck. I haven't seen anything to show me any indication on that. Unless there's something downstairs I missed. Let's see. How is it supposed to know what clock time is the correct time? Thanks to Reese Caribou and Lizard. So this one's the 510. Looking at the other clocks in the room. I don't think so. They're all at the same, like, 608 here. This one's the one I just put on here. Maybe that bodes well. You mean 130? What? Which one? This one? Oh, yeah. 1.30. I looked at it backwards. 
This one probably goes here. Since all of the clocks on this wall are that time. And all of these clocks are the 130. Do I have the 130 downstairs? So I gotta go find the 130. I think the one I put over here was 130. lives in this room here. She's always guarding this one. Oh, this one's the 130. Hopefully I don't need this one because I just brought it all the way back here and I'm going to be tight if I have to come back. Thanks the resub rat piss. So I have 130 now, which goes on this. Or, or not, is this, is that wrong? All of the clocks on this table are 130. Alright, that throws a monkey wrench into what I thought. What's this one? Okay, all of these are 745. Which one do I have in my inventory? What is this? Okay, this is the 510. Oh, this one's actually just correct. I got this one right by accident. These are the five gift subs, Dizzy Loves. Thank you, Dizzy. Appreciate it. one so I don't even know if that's reliable oh wait I actually forgot all about this kitchen one bird didn't come out of that one at all I need. So there's three up here and three down here. This one matches. This one does not match. Where does this one go? Man, I'm so tired of running all the way back and forth across this massive fucking house. Holy shit.
Thanks to the bits, Jacob. Bottom slot, I don't think matters, man. I, I, I really don't think it does. I don't see why it would. That one I got correct. I st have I even found that one? Oh, wait. They're all the same. I just noticed. Oh. Wait, then what the fuck is this one supposed to be? Sub left and Gragon. I guess I'll be good busy. What am I supposed to match this to? One's the eleven o'clock or twelve fifty five. I actually can't tell which little one long. So then Fuck. What am, what am I supposed to fucking match these two? Like there's nothing around. And there was nothing in my documents. When you examine the clock, it tells you the time. What, what are you talking about? 8.20. You're right, I didn't even notice that. Do I have an 8.20? I don't think I do. this one no, they all say 820 god damn it I'm holding an 820 am I I didn't really look oh you're right I am holding an 820 but all the clocks say 820 I'll take a photo of the clock, but I've done that before and it didn't do anything. What am I supposed to match these two? Have to match them to the downstairs clocks? No, I can't be right though. I don't think that would be it. I think there's some Gabe and BMAC. They don't all say 820. Yeah, they do. I just took it. I just went to the one in the kitchen and that one also said 820. Let's check downstairs again. Charlie, you're telling me the clock in front of you says 820? Yeah, when you click on it, look. They all say 820. 820, see? The, wh why is nobody paying attention? Jesus Christ! Every single time you click on it, it says 820, so I don't think that has any bearing on anything. Oh, 
Oh my god, wait, that's my inventory. Oh, you're right. Well, I'm still right. It had nothing to do with anything. <laughs> so we can we can drop the 820 thing. Uh, matching these times isn't the solution. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. There's so many goddamn clocks. There's four down here. And three upstairs. No, but matching them in the basement isn't correct either. Because I have this one matched and it's still saying it's wrong. So I'm going to take this out and put it in, which is the correct time. Oh, no, it didn't do the bird. I don't even know what the bird means it's wrong. The last time I did that, the bird came out. But all of these except this are matched. And I don't know what I'm supposed to match this to because all of these are the exact same time as this one all the way back here, but... Let me just grab this anyway and change it. This was a different time. <sighs> Another collectible in the books, baby. one in the elevator I can't even get back to the elevator man so I don't think I, I don't think I missed one there the elevator was part of that event oh I don't care about the red card I just did that because there's no reason not to since it was right there but I don't remember there being a clock there. I mean, I don't lose anything by going, so. Yeah, there is one here. I forgot about that. Okay, that's the one I need for downstairs. Is there some Captain Jack in Scorpio? The Prime Comrade. Like the bird still sings there, but that's that's the right one, judging by these on the wall. Well, there we go. So the bird coming out means fucking nothing. It means not a goddamn thing, son of a bitch. Oh, boy. Ooh, thank you 
the 50 gift subs, Girthy. Thank you for the generosity. Thank you for that, Girthy. Appreciate that. Thanks to the resub Austin, Tony, and the Prime Fro. Thank you, Girthy. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Just give me one sec. Thanks to the five gift subs, Lexa. Really appreciate it again, Girthy. Oh, I'm back. Here I am. Thanks to tier one, Noxie, and the resub Tractables. The Prime, Fearful, and Clout. Er. Kloss. The clocks are still going nuts. Uh-oh. Have I traveled back in time? I keep forgetting to take pictures of shit. Should've known. Should've known. Four, six, huge, huge. It seems like he never finished this one. Okay, what well, do I? Exit Prime, Rad, and Dylan, and the resub Savic. I can't. Yeah, I know. I just I thought of the brick anymore. I just can't. My whole body is going numb. Why is this happening to me? You were a naughty boy. <laughs> This must be a combination or something. Yep. Somehow. Where's my brick? Well, that didn't work. I can't believe that didn't work. Okay. So we have four and six. So that's pretty good. We're getting there. Thanks, Resub Fire. Resub Ryota. I bet Granny's gonna pop out here again like she always does here. Oh, maybe not. She's taking a breather. Okay. Now, how do we interpret this? Oh, I see. The arrows. Um, so left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then left, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So 11, 7, 4. Right? Let me double check. Yep, 11, 7, 4. I'm sad. That didn't work. Does it not go to this safe, maybe? Did I do it? Did I count wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, maybe I need to count the arrow at the end. So then it would be 12, 8, 5. Okay, you have to count the, like, the arrow. Got it. I'm fucking rich. 
All this money, I'm just taking a key that says Johnny. Oh my god. I am so tired of inventory management in this game for no fucking reason. God. He's a prime. Recon, Randy. Oh, in the raid, Eric. Thank you, Eric. Hope you had a fun stream. Resub Sammy. Is it Prime Young? Thank you, Eric. I'll store my brick and my hammer. There's some Ashley. Jump scare warning? No, I'll know when there's a jump scare and there's not one yet. You'll know. I'll know. I'll give you a warning once I feel it coming. I've got a good handle on it now. He's a prime booty. Okay, now I have room. Alright, jump scare around the corner. Heads up. Around this corner, I meant. Heads up. Crossing this door threshold on its way. Heads up. I meant around this corner. Be alert. What? <laughs> yeah, I predicted this wrong every time I tried the substitute. Oh my god, I passed the I passed Johnny's room. Johnny's room was this one over here, I think. That was the other one. There we go. Here I come. Inbound. Let's learn all the secrets here. This used to be Dad's room. I just put my fucking brick away, too. God damn it. Things you said taco, jib, and Medora. In the prime warm. So many cool bricks. I guess this album was very naughty. And a big timeout. Rat, snake, shark, rabbit. Have, have we seen anything with any of those symbols? So let's start putting shit down, I guess. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. I think I get it. Maybe these work like scales. So the shark will be real heavy. Rabbit is light. Rat is light. Snake is light. But I don't have any more bricks. Even if I get the one from my locker, it still won't work. Maybe that's not how it goes. I do have this clock. Let's get the other brick. I went the wrong way. Thanks the resub for in Pepe. Oh 
Oh. Is your reset Gabby? Oh, was there a hint on the wall? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm just completely wrong. I'll look for the hint. Thanks, Zerisa Bark. Oh, I did, did store. Grandma's in bed now, can't stay up much past 7 p.m. No, she's still lurking around this house, dark ass, naked. But she's just kind of keeping her distance until I turn this corner. Nice. Wrong again. Who's the prime fan voodoo? Big find. Oh. In order to save the bird, the rabbit jumped in the air, leaving all her friends behind. The snake below the rat remained. While the shark in the depths, this plan designed. Okay. So I got the shark right. The rabbit jumped into the air. So that's not going to be this one. Uh, the snake needs to be below the rabbit. So it's going to be this or below the rat, I mean, and this. And then this. I'm a fucking genius. Or not. That wasn't, that wasn't right. Maybe I got it backwards. Oh, I can't even take these back. I definitely got it right. Why can't I open this? Do a picture? Oh. Man, it's always a picture. Why not just like a little good old fashioned American elbow grease? Just lift this shit up without a picture. So <gasps> this is the book that Blue Knees! This is the guy! This is the fucking guy! It was an album this whole time. Oh, it's a kid's book. So this is kind of like the Babadook. This is supposed to be a kids book because this shit's kind of kind of hardcore. Nice. Why is all of this shit afraid of the light? Just once, maybe make it have like some kind of different fear. Like Blue Knees is afraid of like laughter, so you have to laugh at it. it reminds of it its time getting bullied in high school or something. Make it unique. Afraid of 5G. Yeah, so in order to fight Blue Knees you have to have a good Wi-Fi. See if there's anything here. I, I know this is impossible, but I think Dad wrote this. Well, what gave that away? Your dad's name is John. Of course, he wrote this. 
Here's the five gift subs, Peens. Appreciate it. Your sub Zandy, Pressure, and the gift sub Liana. Thank you, Liana. And the sub Taka, Bamboodoo. Well, I put away my hammer, so now what? There's a lot of eyeballs in there. Hey, Blue Knees. Now we can finally put a name to the face. But that can't be right, because gr we're definitely being hunted by Grandma. Because her titties mean business. Like, Blue Knees was kind of flat-chested, but Grandma is rocking those, like, fucking saggy honkers. House just changed. I need to get to the story. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is that guy from SpongeBob. I forgot his name. I do what I like, just what I like, and how I like it. Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim. That's the one, Tiny Tim. Cool, what did that do for me? Okay, that did fuck all, I guess. Oh, maybe it changed the house back. It did not. The house feels like a maze. Thanks for some cracking ear. I'm sure this is what Grandma was referring to in her diary. Yeah, no more Tiny Tim, please. I don't want to get DMCA'd. God damn it. Stop it. Ooh, I'll try and talk over it. Wee wee wee. Wee wee wee. Woo woo woo. Oh wait, we is got an eye. A, wait, that's huge. A, a human eye? Okay. Wait, did the other one pop out an eye? I don't think so, did it? Oh, I'll never know, I guess. Oh. God, stop making me play Tiny Tim! Christ! This is really unlucky. I already know this is gonna get this DMCA'd. Hey man. Oh, was I not? Oh no, it's scripted. I thought I might have fucked up. Oh no, I, I did fuck up. Or not. I need to drop the other eyeball in there, I think. What does blue knees have to do with the demon? Uh, that I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. Stop making me play Tiny Tim. Thanks for some cool. This isn't Tiny Tim, are you sure? I, I'm very confident that this is Tiny Tim. Like, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty confident. Did I get the eye in time? 
Tiny Tim is dead, isn't he? I don't know if he is or not, but why would that matter? Like, how would that change that? They can't play his music because he's dead? Did I get the eyeball in time? I did. Let's go. So Grandma wasn't sick at all. This thing is what really killed her. Thanks to the resub bust. Tiny Tim didn't write a song about blue knees. Obviously, Tiny Tim didn't write the blue knees ballad, but I'm saying they're using a Tiny Tim song. That's the point I'm making. Four, six, two. See shit. Blue knees is still here. Thanks for Prime ABC. And the recent bro your boat. Oh, there we go. I'm back. You have the full combination? No, I don't. I have three of four. I need one more. Maybe Grandma and Blue Knees fight each other like Kong and, Go and Godzilla. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe you're right. Yeah, because there's Grandma right there, hypnotized by him. Oh, hold on, give me a second. I just heard Tiana go to bed. I'm going to go say goodnight real quick. Not the blue ball you hear, but I'll be right back. I'm back. Is a prime buka and the Risa Mighty Mouse is a Wardo Skippy and Booster. <laughs> and the prime bub. <laughs> Grandma! Don't listen to Blue Knees! This album's trash! Uh-oh. Yeah, I still don't in I still don't understand how Blue Knees ties into the whole story with Grandma and Grandpa and shit. Grandma! I see you. You can't escape from me. Alright, I'm here. Is this not right? I thought this was the right spot. Oh, it definitely is. Okay. I thought I'd have to, like, sit down. Okay, uh, four, six, two... Wait, I only have three, though. Right? Let me see. Two... Six... Oh, two, six, five, four. Four was the first one, right? Yep. So four, five, two, six. Or four, five, six, two. 
<laughs> Here I come. Oops. Here I come. <laughs> Well, come on in, Granny. Oh, that's oh, it's her ashes. Hey, good enough. Let's shake it up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Damn you, blue knees. Dad's head, the hanged son. Okay. So I need to put his head there. Oh, like Madison's skull? Oh wait, no, I already put that there. Hey, Madison. Uh, oh, also, what the fuck role does she play in this? Because now with Blue Knees being introduced here at the very end, now I don't see what Madison's role was. Oh, I see. I, I have to... I have to hang myself? I can't interact with this though. Oh, I see. It, I see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, make sure the angle's right. Check the framing. Alright, let's make it count. Surrounded by all my friends. Madison skull, two pictures of severed bodies, a ring, and my favorite statues. Now Luca's dad, act, he, like Luca's dad, is still alive right now, so I bet he's gonna bust in and save us. <laughs> Maybe not. There's still so many questions left unanswered right now. <gasps> Grandma! Man, so Luca's, like, family played no role in this. Like, John, John is still alive. And we haven't even seen him. We just heard him yelling at us in the beginning of the game. I don't think it's over yet. I don't think this is the end. Thanks, Reese Bobbert, the Prime Boogie, and Reese Peyton. Hmm. Oh wait, that is it. The what? What? I have so many questions about the story. What? 
I mean, the game was pretty good. Like, I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty well done. But the narrative doesn't wrap itself up at all. Is there any sub birds? The prime hack net. Yeah, there's a lot of moving parts there that don't have any level of like answer. Like I don't really understand Blue Knee's role here. I understand that Grandpa was overcome with guilt for not believing his wife and he wants to bring her back so he then engaged in a ritual to try and get her back. Blue Knees was the one that initially like killed his grandma. But then what happened to Luca's family? Because John is still alive and mad. Then there was the priest who kept calling, who did nothing after saying he was coming. Like, there's so much. Multiple endings? Good question. Maybe there are multiple endings here. Let me pull some up. Maybe I just got the bad ending. Oh, I'm turning the light back on. Holy shit. Hold on. There's still a door left. Oh, that's a shame. I just closed the game. I don't feel like reopening it. Let's just see it. What door is left? Which one? Thanks, the resub chimp. The one after John's room. No, were you guys not paying attention? The one after John's room is the one that we walked out of with blue no uh, blue nose, blue knees, blue knees. Uh, that was that door. So we didn't walk into that door, but we walked out of it. Thanks to the resub, Jack Russ. Okay, let's see. Um... I'm getting- no, it looks like there's only one ending. Uh, how about explained? That didn't work. <laughs> Lore. That didn't work. Yeah, I don't know. I- I just- I don't think they answered, like, any of it. There was so much in that plot, and n almost none of it got answered. There's the resub. Flobby and Spinock and the Prime Papa Molly. Mad Madison ending explained. Sure. Nope. It's too new for that, I think. Yeah, no, I think the game was pretty good. Uh, I just got pretty interested in the story, and they didn't answer any of it. Unless there was, like, hidden shit in the world that I missed, but I don't think I missed anything. I thoroughly explored that entire fucking game top to bottom. Thanks again, Sub Bricks.
give us your interpretation. Based on everything we learned in that game, I think, I, in, again, since there's nothing to go on, since the game just fucking ends without answering, I think it initially started with Blue Knees. I believe the grandfather brought home the Blue Knees book, which immediately started getting his wife sick. She started losing her vision just like Blue Knees, and he was haunting her, moving her shit around, this and that. Albert didn't believe her. Eventually she passes. Albert learns the truth because he then starts to see the Blue Knees shit, since he also wrote a note saying Blue Knees is real. And then he can't forgive himself for not believing his wife, so then he engages in, like, a satanic ritual, which was the seven sacrifices and all that shit, to bring his wife back. And that's why there's that locket with blood in it in the closet, as well as all, like, the body parts and shit. And I think he was initially going to use John for it, but never got the chance. So then, somehow, the ritual continued on to Luca. There's no explanation as to how it ended on Luca for the, for the ritual, but it eventually got to Luca. And I really don't know what the fuck it has to do with 1951 and 1987 with Madison Hale. I have no clue what role she plays in all of that. He's a tier one dog in the resub starshine and they give some bricks. He didn't use John for it because the priest explained that it kept doing that it kept doing it because people were sacrificing other important things instead of their own important things. Mm. Fourth video. This is just a review. Madison was the one who killed everyone in the ritual. Yeah, but why? We don't know what her motivation was. Was it blue knees? We, we don't know. Madison doesn't exist, you are Madison. Yeah, that's that whole Mad Sun thing, but I don't necessarily subscribe to that because we, we visited 1951 and 1987. That wouldn't make any sense. So we were possessed by something. Oh, plus there was that whole storyline with her Nazi husband. Uh, Hans. Hey Andy, how long was it? It took like five hours to beat ish. What about the seven victims out of which only four died? Good question. And John never died. The beginning of this game had John banging on the door, saying how much he regretted what happened with Luca. And assumedly, Luca killed the family, which we never know ever. We, we don't actually see that. And we never see John again. Madison was just another vic victim to the ritual in the past and she's just a convoluted plot point. Yeah, but who... Like, why? What was the... Who was doing the ritual for Madison? And why? And also, Nancy... I'm assuming is actually Madison. Nancy was the one at the 1951 church confessing to murdering her Nazi husband who gassed people in the chamber. What, what did that have to do with anything? Very... 
Makes perfect sense that you're Madison, separated by Mad Eye Sun, and had a photo frame around the eye hinting at you since you just took a picture of the hanging body. So you're doing the ritual for Madison. Yeah, I, again, I understand this whole Mad Sun thing because of the eye being lowercase and also that being like a key point in 1987. But it's there is still a character in universe called Madison. She was a character referenced multiple times with police reports, newspapers, and characters in the game. So she is still a character in the game, and it's not us. We're possessed by her, I imagine. But she was still in the game. Like, she was still in the story as a character. Madison Hale, the, if the father's name was like Greg Hale, I forgot, I, I, I don't remember, but they were, that whole family were in the game. It's so fucking confusing. I, they had a cool story, they had a really cool premise, like I was very interested, but they just left it too, like way too loose. Way too loose. Shame, fucking shame. Is the resub dank? I think Madison ate blue knees eyes. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Well, no one's going to explain the story in a review, man. No one just spoils a game in its review. Thanks, Prime Crocodile. And the Prime Zephyr. Howie Mandel posted a prolapsed anus on TikTok. Why do you keep telling me that, man? I saw you saying that like three times. Like, in a row. That just sounds like a good TikTok. That's hype. Is it his prolapsed ass? Oh, it wasn't you that I was talking about? Someone was talking about it in chat quite a bit with Howie Mandel's prolapsed anus. Google Madison Game Explain. There's an article from the devs gives backstory. Okay. I'm assuming this one. So far, this is all stuff we knew. This is just like gameplay mechanics. Yeah, it didn't do much. <clears throat> Thanks, the resub shine.
Oh, you're talking about the haunted chair robotic? Apparently, Howie's friend sent him a photo of a prolapsed anus, and he made a TikTok asking people if it's a symptom of COVID. It's been up for over two hours. What? What? <laughs> okay, hold on. All right. Finally, someone really sold sold me on it. What the fuck? Hey, 14-year-olds on TikTok. Is this prolapsed anus a sign of COVID? Wow, I am so glad I didn't bring TikTok up on my on stream. What the fuck? The front page of TikTok is breastfeeding. Like actual titty out. What is going on on TikTok? Holy shit. What the fuck? Does TikTok allow nudity now? I uh, that was a close call. Oh my god. They're going nuts on TikTok today. Prolapsed anus and just full-blown breastfeeding? Okay, let's see. That's not the one. Oh, it's the one right next to it. <laughs> That's a pretty good TikTok. So he doesn't actually think a prolapsed anus is a sign of COVID. He's making a joke. So it's a picture of like someone's ass and the entire butthole is blown way out. Like just full blasted open here. Like a can of sardines. And then he's saying, does anyone know if this is a sign of COVID? And if so, what do we do about it? I don't know if TikTok's necessarily the place for prolapsed comedy, but... I respect it. Pretty decent bit. Is the resub murky and denim? I didn't know he got so wild on TikTok. God damn. Yeah, we just finished Madison. It was good. It was good. Coyote Peterson just faked one of his discoveries. That's sad, really. I like Coyote Peterson. He didn't fake any of his, like, pain stuff, right? Like, the bites and everything. That would be really disappointing. Scientists dismiss Cody Peter Coyote Peterson's large primate skull discovery as fake. Man, this sucks. Why, Coyote? Why? This is undoubtedly a gorilla skull, as is obvious from the numerous anatomical details and as verified by a list of experts. Also, it seems identical to commercially available casts of a specific gorilla skull. We can straight away shut down the idea that it might be a real skull of an unknown primate. Nope, it's a cast of an un of a known species. <clears throat> Damn.
Imagine he actually goes to jail for smuggling a goddamn skull into the U.S. What, what was the point of faking this? What did he get out of it? I'm told that Coyote Peterson does this sort of thing fairly often as clickbait. And that this stunt done to, that this stunt is done to promote an upcoming video. Maybe this is meant to be taken as harmless fun, but in an age where anti-scientific feelings and conspiracy culture are a serious problem, it again really isn't a good look. I think this stunt has backfired. Yeah, it ruins his credibility. Like instantly puts it in the shitter. Now I'm questioning if he actually did get like bit by bullet ants and wasps. Damn it, coyote. Well, that was dumb. That was really fucking dumb. Thanks for the resub, real fart. No, that was the whole thing. It was just a haunted chair robotic. There really wasn't much to it. I pulled it with a string. And I did hear about that robotic. I don't know what my favorite would be. What's he faking, though? He's awaiting test to see what it is. Uh, it's apparently just a known cast of a gorilla skull. So, like, a prop, basically. Oh, yeah, I just finished Madison here. I'll change back. In all honesty, a producer could have brought it, bought it for the show and failed the background check. Yeah, maybe Coyote didn't know. But I feel like... Given his profession, his whole career, his livelihood revolves around knowing these things. To make a claim like, I found this extremely rare s specimen. I'm keeping it off books so government doesn't meddle in it. This and that. I feel like you should do the bare minimum to verify whether or not it's an actual fucking prop. Uh, and, like, make sure it's a real skull. Is it Prime Spoon. Look at his latest videos. He's doing Mr. Beast content. Is he? I haven't checked in on a, in a while, but he was always doing, like, some cool shit. Can I survive this insane South African obstacle course challenge? Stung twice. I cut off a rhino's horn. Well, that's... That's just not very cool. Hopefully the rhino just died of natural causes at some other point. It was to stop poachers from taking the horn. Okay. That makes sense then. Just not a very good title at a glance. So he takes it instead. I'd rather it end up in like a conservation than a poacher. It's good clickbait. I guess. Yeah. I wonder what the comments are saying. Oh, this might be too new. I subscribed you. Scam artist. Enter the sting zone with a cone snail. Bigfoot skull. That's a reference to the skull, okay. Skull footage, uh-oh. Why did you place a plastic gorilla skull in the woods anyway? 
I guess we'll see. That's a real shame. I, I liked Coyote Peterson. Hopefully it was like an honest mistake and somebody just played a prank on him and he just really bought into it. Yeah, maybe Coyote's just been really good at faking content. I guess it's possible. Thanks for the resub, Biscuit. One mistake doesn't mean you can't like him anymore. Well, it makes me doubt all of his content. Well, at least, like, the the ones, like, getting bit and shit. Because maybe they've been devenomed or something. Which is a real thing. Like, his content revolves around it being real. So if there's a massive hole in it where he's talking about finding a damn near fucking Bigfoot skull, an unknown species... And it turns out he just faked it with a plastic cast of a gorilla skull. It's like, oh, I have to take everything that he does with a grain of salt. How would you devenom a wasp? I don't know about a wasp in particular, but you can like devenom snakes and shit. He hasn't put out a video on the skull, has he? Where are people getting it? Apparently on his Facebook or Twitter, I forgot already, he was talking about it and making posts about it on how he's like avoiding government officials because he doesn't want them to, to confiscate it or whatever to study it. Oh, was it Instagram? Might have been Instagram. Thanks to Prime Cortez and the Tier 1 Telephone. No, 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 no. Worlds is in August, Wuto. Was he saying it as a joke or a skit? Possibly. Couldn't tell you. Sunny V2 did a fantastic vid on fake primitive builds. And you know what? I'm fucking mad about it. Because, what, two months ago, three months ago... I was telling you guys how almost all of the primitive building YouTubers are fake, and chat jumped on my ass. You guys kept calling me out saying that I was a lying, I, I was wrong, this and that. And I tried to prove it to you, and you're like, oh, that's circumstantial, that's nothing, that's one channel. And then Sunny does it, granted it's much more thorough, and you're like, oh, it. we knew all along. Immediately just fucking flip-flopping. Maybe tight. I'm glad Sonny talked about it, though. It's about fucking time. One guide? No, you were not here. It was like a 30-minute rabbit hole I had to go down to defend myself from chat being mad that I talked about their favorite primitive builders being fake. And they still didn't believe me. But I'm glad, finally, Sonny's done a better job at conveying the truth than I could. It's about fucking time. No, no, I'm not watching it tonight. No, 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 no. Sonny communicated with the actual cameraman. Yeah, his was significantly more thorough. But I still <laughs> pulled up footage to prove it. You guys are like, nah. Nah, those aren't tire tracks. Those are naturally occurring jungle tracks. From the old indigenous tanks and excavators. Is there some slash and hexus? Yeah, maybe Gato. Maybe.
the OG primitive building videos are fake. And I said that too. One of the only, and I'm just going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say, potentially the only legitimate primitive builder, like using actual primitive tools and doing it without any cheating, is primitive technology, the one that started it all. Yeah, I think I've seen that one, Lazy. Someone recommended that. I watched it not too long ago. And thanks to the Prime, Nico. All the rest are fake as fuck. Yep. Pretty much all of them. Thanks to the Bits Coco. True, I guess. So the OG is real? Yeah. Like with most things, man, like, think about any trend. The person that starts that trend does it legitimately, and everyone tries to hop on it as quickly as possible and do it as fast as possible, cutting as many corners as possible. So it shouldn't be a surprise that primitive technology is legit and the ones that suckled the teat are cutting the corners. That's how it works with most, like, big, like, content trends. Yeah, I did robotic. It was sad. It's mostly the ones that involve digging underground that are fake as shit. Pretty much any of them that build like a water park are fake. Well, literally all of them that build, like, a water park out of, like, sand are fake and dirt. Or, like, the giraffe slides and shit, fake. Hey, that's, that's, that's not nice. Prim Technology does make big things, bro. He's made, like, full huts and shit. He doesn't just make pots. Prim Technology is extremely impressive. Alright. I'm gonna go to bed. I gotta get up early. Tomorrow, 10 a.m., the OSU tournament starts. Day one. So I'll be up early, streaming early. So if anyone likes rhythm games, make sure to stop in. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. To everyone who donated, big thank you. New subs, welcome aboard. This sub means a lot, so thanks for subbing. Enjoy the emotes, and I will see you in nine hours from now. Have a great night, everyone. Let me see who's streaming. Um, I don't think I've tossed you to Dankin in a while. I don't, what's, I don't know what Rumbleverse is, but I'll toss you over there.